Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is Dr. Blakeney and today we are at Fort Davis in Western Texas. This is a fort from 1854 to 1891. So let's talk a little bit about it and talk about what this fort has. So behind me, you can see the uh, officer's quarters and behind that would be the enlisted men's quarters. We're actually here at the hospital that was built uh, in the second phase of the fort. So this fort is in West Texas and part of the reason they had it is because they had a trail, uh, the San Antonio El Paso Trail, which was about 600 miles. And between those two ports, uh, San Antonio and El Paso, it wasn't exactly uh, the safest place to be. Very dry out here, very desolate, and not a whole lot of people uh, were uh, able to support themselves. So as they made the journey, which would take five or six weeks, uh, they might run into some problems, uh, especially with different Native American groups. So the fort was built. In 1854, it was built uh, kind of behind me in an area that I'll take you to real quick um, as I'm talking. Um, this area of the fort was eventually replaced with the area that we're in now. And so this is where the original fort was built, uh, but then they moved it over a couple hundred meters. And part of the reason it's here is because they wanted to have access to uh, fresh water. There wasn't much water between here and El Paso, nor San Antonio, so they decided they would build uh, a series of forts in between. Uh, besides water, uh, they also didn't, uh, they were attacked often by different uh, bands of Native Americans, including the uh, Apache and the Comanche, and I think the Kiowa and some other ones. Uh, you might know the names of Victoro or Geronimo. Uh, this is the area they were in. They would spend uh, part of the year down in Mexico, and then before this was a part of the United States, this was part of Mexico, Texas was, uh, they also spent some time uh, uh, going up to the summer uh, in uh, the plains of the United States. Uh, so once the fort was built uh, to protect, uh, they would send troops from here along the road to make sure that everything was safe. Uh, there were no actual battles that took place here. And life for a soldier here was actually uh, pretty decent overall. Uh, not a whole lot of fighting that went on. A lot of their time was spent building roads, building a telegraph line, uh, things of that nature. If you got sick, which happened often, I just read the average uh, age for a man to die back in this time was 48, and if you were black, it was 33. So a lot of people got sick. When they got sick, they would go to a hospital like this, but of course the doctors back then didn't know exactly what they were doing, although, uh, the hospital itself actually looks pretty modern for the time. Uh, well, the uh, room where the doctor would see you looks very similar to what we have today. And the Surgeon General of the United States said that every soldier had to have uh, 1,200 cubic feet. So we have really high walls in here and uh, the windows are really hot, high for ventilation. So what did a soldier do? Uh, while they were here, on the, they spent a lot of time uh, actually bored, not doing much of anything. But when they uh, were uh, doing things, they were drilling, they were preparing, they were uh, uh, going out on different scouting missions. That was something that people really liked to do because it got you out of the boredom of being in the fort. Uh, but they'd also uh, have time to play sports like baseball. Uh, they played checkers, they read the newspaper, uh, they would go into town and oftentimes get themselves in trouble. I think there was a little prison here that held 17 uh, cells for different troops. So they spent a lot of time uh, idle here at the fort. It was never attacked itself. 